we are discussing today about some mcqs based on the molecular biology which are very important from the examination point of view nonsense codon known as okkar is we know very well that in the entire genetic code there are three nonsense codons okay uaa uag uga they are called as okkar amber and opal okay so the nonsense codons are uaa uag uga okkar amber and opal so the nonsense codon known as okkar is so okkar is for uaa so here it is giving uaa so the question number 1 is having the answer a now dna elements which can switch their position now dna elements which can switch their position switch their positions are called jumping genes okay dna elements which can ch change their position or the genes which can switch their positions because we know very well that genes are nothing they are the short segments of the dna so dna dna elements which can change or switch their position are called as jumping genes they are also called as transposons they are also called transposons okay so dna elements which can switch their position are called as transposons question number 2 is having the answer a okay now the next question is the third one terminism is the same as so first of all you must know that what is terminism terminism is nothing the other name of reverse transcription and this reverse transcription was shown by temin the scientist named temin and baltimore and by the name temin the reverse transcription is also called as a terminism by which the rna can form dna rna can form dna by reverse transcription and the dna which is formed is complementary dna right so terminism is the same as reverse transcription question number 3 is having the answer d okay now amino acid binding site in trna amino acid binding site in trna now this is the trna and a trna is having four major arms this is the 5 dash end and this is the cca 3 dash end this is the t sin c loop this is the anti codon loop and this is the dhu loop okay now amino acid binding site in trna is always remember that this 3 dash end having the cca sequence is amino acid binding site always the activated amino acid will come and attach at 3 prime end having the cca sequence so the answer is amino acid binding site in trna is cca 3 dash end question number 4 is having the answer a and the question number 5 is dna generally act as a template for the synthesis of now try to understand it that this is the dna okay dna is the double stranded when we make dna to dna okay so say for we have we are actually doing replication so in the process of replication dna forms dna and both the strands of the dna act as template and on both dna parental chains 
new chains are formed. So these are what? Parental chains. These two are the parental chains. These two are the parental chains. And these are the new chains. This one and this one are the new chains. So definitely DNA act as template for the synthesis of DNA. So this is the synthesis of DNA to DNA. But we also know that DNA also act as template for the synthesis of RNA. The only difference is that that in the synthesis of RNA out of the two strands of the DNA only one strand of the DNA participate and hence only one strand act as template while in the process of the replication both the strands of the DNA that is participate. So DNA generally act as template for the synthesis of so DNA is not only forming the DNA DNA can also form RNA by the process of transcription so we can say that DNA generally act as template for the synthesis of both the DNA as well as RNA so the question number 5 is having the answer D so thanks a lot if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take